Alright, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. So how did Takio become this weird tree-like monster that we fight at the end of Zetsubo no Shima? How did he become just this weird tree-like beast that we have to be in order to complete the boss fight? You know, and we don't end up actually killing him in that beast mode. He just kind of changes back into a human. But how did he become that monster in the first place? So that is what we're going to be discussing today. But first, I'm going to have to give you guys a little bit of backstory on to how Takio got to Zetsubo no Shima in the first place. So, uh, in Der Eisendrak, there was a letter in which Takio is writing to the Emperor discussing what he's been doing, spying on Division 9 and Group 935, basically updating them on their projects and experiments, what they've been doing. And Takio, you know, he's calling himself the humble servant. He's completely at the will of the Emperor. And we find out a little bit later in Zetsubo no Shima that the Emperor had actually tricked him into getting captured by Division 9, right, into order, in order to be killed. And the letter from the Emperor says that everything they've tried to kill Takio with, they try to make it look like an accident, but he's regarded in the eyes of the people as a hero, and they don't want that. You know, they don't want Takio seen as a hero, and then maybe the Emperor as a bad guy. They don't want that. They try to make his death look like an accident, but they said that he escaped every time by some miracle. So that's kind of the backstory onto what happened with the Emperor and Takio. In case you guys weren't aware, so now that we're all caught up onto what's going on, we can get into the story. So when Takio 1.0 was captured by Division 9, he had been tested on, but a lot of people think that he was tested on at the island but I believe it was before the island. Now there's a screenshot in the Zetsubo Nishima new trailer like right here You see something growing off his jacket. It's like growing out of his body. That's not like any dirt That's no normal dirt or anything like that It's actually a growth that is you know taking him over it actually looks like it's getting bigger It looks like an infestation and honestly it looks like if that grew then he would turn into the monster That we have to fight at the end of Zetsubo Nishima. He has something growing on him already So evidently something already happened before he got to the island because that was when he just arrived there with the you know the division 9 officers or whatever you want to call him. He arrived with them, and he already has this growth on him. So something had happened prior to getting captured. What exactly that was and what the, exactly the time was, we aren't really too sure of that. But we also see a little bit later in the trailer that they put him down in the spider pit, and he's already messed up at this point. You see his eyes red, you know, the veins are sticking out, and he just looks in really, really bad shape. And what, whatever the spider did to him, we don't know. We don't know if that's what did it or maybe triggered this growth in order to, you know, make him the beast that he was at the end. We really don't know about that, but we knew that some Something was already growing on him prior to arriving at the island. And what's also really interesting is that in the Division 9 labs, in those yellow test tubes, we actually see other test subjects in there with similar, I guess, branches or appendages, for lack of a better word, growing out of their back. And this is probably similar to what happened to Takio, but I believe he was tested on beforehand, or maybe they didn't even put him in the test tube at all. Maybe they just tested him on whatever, you know, they used for that thing, and just kind of threw him in that cell because of that order from the Emperor. That's something to think about. That's a very, very very good theory. I don't believe Takio is in one of the test tubes. Who's actually in there? We don't really know at all. We just see kind of Richthofen in one point in that trailer, kind of looking through the test tube. Maybe trying to see who does. You can see you can see Richthofen's face reflecting the face from the test tube. So I don't know if that's supposed to symbolize something. So it's just supposed to be an artsy shot, but well, that's kind of besides the point. But getting back on track here, there's one more thing I want to take note of, is that the actual form of Takio himself, when he's in this monster tree-like mode, when he's in the cell, if he has these huge powerful branches in his power and in his control, why does he not just break out of the cage? I mean, granted, he probably can't really go anywhere because he's so deep below the lab, he, it's probably be super tough for him to get out anyway, but I believe he could have broke those small metal bars, like, it, there's no way he couldn't have done that. Maybe he made a conscious choice to stay in those bars, because perhaps he believed that the Emperor was coming to rescue him, and all he had to do was wait it out and I, I guess take his suffering in terms of his honor, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, actually one more thing while I'm thinking about it. You guys know how the he has those orange things on his branches. That's what you shoot the Massimone on. You know, that blue liquid. That's what the spider spits. And when he was down below in the spider wave, maybe that was like, not really an immunization. Probably like the opposite of that. I don't even know what you would call that. But maybe that was, maybe the spider's, I guess, acid kind of triggered that becoming Takio's weakness. So that might be a little bit far-fetched, but that is just my theory about, you know, Know, maybe that's why his weakness is what it is and that's how we end up killing him but basically that's pretty much it I just want to explain to you guys how Takio became the beast and why he's the monster in the cage below the waves because it didn't make a lot of sense the first time we saw him we're like is it is this Takio like like who is this guy why is he this I mean I just wanted to kind of explore this and explain to you guys kind of why we're doing what we're doing in Zetsubo no Shima and how he became how he became the tree-like monster that he was so anyway guys Thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys do drop a like on this if you did enjoy this video. If you learned something, let's try to hit 30 likes on this video. I'd appreciate it very, very much. And make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already just for more Zombies content just like this. Thank you all for watching again, and I will catch you guys on the next video.